Alright, what's up? Here's another episode of Poitech Hardware. This time I'm going to be making um, Monkey Fist Fire Poi. Since I haven't really seen like a very good um, tutorial on how to make these on the YouTubes yet, so um, I'll just go over like a simple method that I use. It's really simple. The heads are kind of light on the lighter side, but it's pretty solid design. So what you're gonna need, how about eight feet, of, eight inches of chain, maybe. You could use less, since I'm gonna use a Technora setup on this with the hybrid leash. Um, I have a number ten split ring on here from Hypewire, I think makes them or Owner. I'm not sure. It might be the same company, even. But you can find them on the internet. If you need links, let me know and I'll link you up to where you can find these. I find them at lo local outdoorsman store in my neighborhood. Um, you need, this is only going to be a tutorial for one fire head, so obviously you need to double the ingredients if you want to make the second one. Um, you need 15 feet of 3 8 inch Kevlar rope. This is from Home of Poi really good stuff I like working with it you need a little bit of Gorilla Glue um, you need just like some regular pliers that have like wire cutter in them so you can kind of cut chain if you need to um, needle nose pliers of course for everything and some like I use these to chop my Kevlar and that's pretty much it alright so 15 start out with your 15 feet of Kevlar rope you need 30 if you're gonna make two, obviously. Um, what you're gonna start out with just tying a normal um, construction knot on the end, just like that. Get it real nice and tightened up, tight as you can go. And then I'll show you the next step. Once you get your knot tied on the end, go ahead and get your split ring and your chain and slide it all the way to this first knot. That's going to be your anchor. I'm gonna start off with about this is like four feet from here to here. And you start your two bite monkey fist by wrapping the cord around this way. Hope you guys can see that. So at this point, you're gonna start going around this way two times. So you have something that kind of looks like this now. And then you're going to want to go in this way, out this way. Do that two times. Or just so you have two bites, not necessarily two times, if you think about it. Um, Alright, so when you get to this point, when you have two bites on this side, two bites on that 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 side, on that side um, you're going to realize that this has to end somewhere once you have two bites. So basically this knot right here is going to be the core of your monkey fist. So now you just gotta go ahead and start tightening around that little knot. Um, it's not that hard if you need tips. There's billions of tutorials on how to tighten monkey fists. Um, I couldn't even put one in the description if you guys wanna check that. It'll be with paracord, but it's the same concept of tightening the monkey fist. So right here to kind of show you what's going on, um, I got two bites all the way around and then on this cord, this knot is going to become my cord. With the chain I usually put it through that little space way back there and then out those two in the top right there. So in between these two and these two and then you just go ahead and pop the knot in there and continue tightening the monkey. Now you got a nice little two bite monkey fist 
all tightened up. Um, if you are making two at this point, I would advise to get the second one to the same exact point and make sure they're the same tightness and out about the same diameter so the end product turns out identical. Alright, so once you have the two by monkey fist down really tight, get it nice and tight, pretty much as tight as you can get it. Um, and what you want to do is go ahead and forget about that side and grab your other end and go ahead and start wrapping a four bite or four pass monkey fist this way. So it's going to start looking. Make sure you have the holes big enough so you can get that other monkey fist in there or else you're going to run into some troubles and you'll have to loosen it up. So I think about that big is good. And you just start doing your four pass monkey fist. Just build it until you get to this point. So when you get to this point where you have four bites on one side, four bites on the other, and you're about to go through the center and do four bites through the center, you want to make sure that you barely have any cord left hanging out here because you're going to barely have any cord left here. And you're going to use that two bite monkey fist as the core for four, the four bite monkey fist. So start wrapping that monkey fist around the inner layer four times. <clears throat> Okay, so when you're at this part, feeding the monkey fist through, you're going to have to manipulate this. So you have to kind of pull it down this way so you can fit your monkey fist through there. It's kind of a hassle. Use more cord if you don't want to go through this, but you will end up wasting more cord. And then right here, you're going to have to push it all back up again and continue just wrapping it that way. So when you get to this point right here, when you're about to tuck this in, two bite into your four bite for the core, it's gonna go right in there. Um, you wanna make sure that that chain goes through the right place like it did on the last one. It's gonna be the same thing as that first little knot when it went through the middle of the two bite. It's going to go through the middle of that one and the middle of that one, directly through that center. So it's going to come around and be coming out that hole right there where my finger just came out. So go ahead and shove your chain through that hole at this point. All right. So now that you have your chain there through coming out the top, in the right place. Go ahead and stuff your monkey fist two bite core in there. Make sure it flips around to where the chain is at, anchored at. And then that's in there. Basically you just start tightening your monkey fist around that now. Alright, so that um, chain placement that was coming out right here it didn't work too well. It was causing too much tension because it was coming out from here. So I'm gonna guess what I just did was grab the chain with the needle nose pliers and pull it out. Once I realized that's what was going on, but I kind of like it coming out right there. I don't know why. It makes the um, monkey fist look tilted, which is different than most people. So that's cool because it's different, I guess. <laughs> Um, yeah, this head came out really nice, actually. This is the first monkey fist fire pulley head I've ever made, so I've only practiced with normal rope before, so I'm pretty stoked that it came out this well. So this is how I end it. If you pull back on this right here, there's a little crevice. You can put some Gorilla Glue in, and then you leave a little nub about this long sticking out, and you get a hammer and a screwdriver and you just hit it back into the monkey fist and that's it and put a little bit more glue on top let it dry and you're good you might also want to put some gorilla glue down in there where the chain meets the head just for precaution it's probably gonna rub through eventually but so here's the finished product came out really nice um, here's where I hammered it back in you can barely tell 
a little bit of glue around the chain, still can barely tell. Um, it came out weighing 135 grams, just like this. So it's a pretty decent weight, a little bit more than Podpoy. And that's it. Let me know if you guys have any questions about this. Um, I hope this helps people understand the monkey fist a little bit better. Thanks for watching.